So for the CHDK videos, I'm going to do them in short bursts because I don't want to, to overload you with too much information. It's a bit strange to navigate around so I'd quite like to do it in bit by bit. So this first video I'm going to show you how to set up RAW. I did do this previously on showing you how to make HDR images but it was quite bright where I was working so hopefully this will be easier to see. So if we go into our CHDK menu, you have to press the shortcut button here to enter the menu and this will activate your alternate menu. So if you press the shortcut button up here, you'll see Alt come up at the bottom. If we then press menu, our CHDK menu comes up. Now if you press the right hand button on the function wheel, you go into the option that you've got selected. And we want to go to raw parameters. So if we go into there, what we want to do is we want to tell it that we do want to save raw. If we press the right hand button when we're in the save raw option, a dot will appear in the box. I'll just switch it on and off so you can see. That means that it's now activated to take raw. So if we go down, there's a couple of options I want to talk about, but I'm not going to talk through all of these. Uh, there's this one which is raw file in directory with JPEG. I like to have this because what it does is it saves it all into the same folder on your SD card. So you'll have your JPEGs and your raw files all in one place. If you don't select this, it will save your raw files into a different folder and your JPEGs into another. Now that's fine, but the way I like to do it is to have them both in the same folder. It's up to you which way you uh, do it. So you can switch that on and off with the same method. There's also only first RAW in series. If you were doing a series of shots and they were all using RAW, the, like a burst mode or something like that, the camera would take so long to take all the pictures because it would be taking extra time to take RAW as well. So what you can do is tell it to only take the first picture in RAW and the rest will be JPEG, so you can switch that on and off. You can change the um, the prefix, so it it says here CRW, so it would be CRW-01 for example. Um, that's just so you can quickly determine that it's a raw file if you're just looking at the file names. doesn't really matter which one you use. What you may find is that you're having trouble with your raw files opening. You just want to be able to save it with DNG format. Now I've got this switched on already and you want to use a DNG file extension so rather than having CR2 if you've got DNG it's more likely to be recognized when you're using things like Photoshop or preview or just trying to open them to view them so in order to use DNG you have to create a bad pixel dot bin um, the camera will do it for you all you've got to do is just press OK and it will say please wait this takes a few seconds don't panic and that's basically because your camera is going to take a couple of pictures and it's just going to do what it needs to do to create this bad pixel dot bin. It allows you to take pictures in .gng file format. So now it's back, it's just saying bad pixel dot bin is created. So if we go back into our menu, go back into our raw parameters, and you'll be able to use the DNG format and that will basically override your raw file extension. So that's basically how to take pictures in RAW. If I then come out of the menu, it's going to take one picture with RAW and one picture with JPEG. My camera's set up really dark at the moment just so that you can see what's going on on the screen, although it's still coming up stupidly bright. One thing to remind you when you're using CHDK, if you've got the alternate menu on and you try to take a picture, it's going to try and run a script. Now I've actually got a script that's uh, set up on here which I'm going to show you later which is the intervalometer which allows you to take pictures every however many seconds you tell it to I'm not going to go into it now but that's basically what scripting is so you've got to make sure that if you just want to take normal pictures with your override that you need to press the alt button to come out of the alternative menu
I apologise for the uh, gruffness of my voice. I was out last night and I must have shouted too much. So anyway, that's how to take raw and I hope that helps.